Greetings Kickstarters. I've got another video update. This one is for the 3D printing and 3D scanning enthusiasts. I want to give you a little insight into the hardware that I've been developing for doing 3D full body scans using Reconstruct Me software. So this is a project that began over a year ago and it started with this. This is a 3D uh, a turntable for, that supports the weight of people and the plans for this are already up on Thingiverse but in the last couple months I've been embellishing this system with this and I call it the Scanatron 3000. This is a linear rail for a connect controller to ride on so that we really have a steady movement for the connect to move up and down as the subject is turning on the turntable. And let me just demonstrate you how the system works in conjunction with one another right now. We're going to do a scan using Reconstruct Me. So come on around this side and take a little look. The first thing I do is I just have a little knob and uh, a spool that I can crank to raise and lower the connect with. We want to start with the connect about halfway up because the scan volume is based on the positioning of the connect as we start the scan. It's basically a phone booth size volume. It's around a meter by a meter and two and a half meters tall and it starts a meter away from the connect when we start the scan. So we always have to start with the connect in the middle position here. I'm going to set up my reconstruct me and start the scan. When I call action, the subject has to hold still. Go ahead, take your pose, Katya. And here we go, action. Now I have a foot pedal on the ground here, and when I hit that, the turntable slowly starts to spin. The other thing that I do is, on the connect controller right here, it's on a little hinge. And we actually want to stretch the connect so that it's looking downhill and that'll enable us to get the top of their head it keeps us from scanning up a skirt or uh, getting the thickness of the fabric so we always are kind of looking downhill on our subject we start by getting the feet and then we're going to move all the way up the subject as we do the scan go ahead take a look at the, the image on the screen as we're doing the scan you'll see it that when it becomes all silver, we know we've got a good surface. It's The things I'm looking for as I'm looking at the scan is black holes, and that means we don't have 3D data for that space. So if I move up slowly, you'll see around the elbows, we're still gathering 3D data for those parts, and we're just slowly turning the handle, and we're able to adjust the speed of our turn based on what we're seeing on the screen. If you have a scan with two or three people, you might have to raise the connect a little slower so that we're sure we're gathering that 3D data. And we have probably one more pass. I'd like to get a good clean pass on our face to make sure we have nice facial details. And then we have the top of our head. So there we go. Look at, we have a nice, beautiful, clean mesh. And the moment she turns away from us, I'm going to stop the scan. Sorry. And we're done. You can relax your pose, Katya. I'm going to stop the, stop the turntable. Wait until I help you down. And we can look and see what you look like in 3D. Come on, come on down. And let's look at the screen and see what you have. Oops. And we have a beautiful 3D mesh that just requires a little bit of work to be cleaned up for 3D printing. Okay, so there you have it. That's the Scanatron 3000. I'm going to be putting all my uh, design files for this, including the 3D printed parts that are on it, up on Thingiverse at the end of my Kickstarter campaign. So. Please help get the word out there. Tell everybody about our project. We want to make this project happen. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Kickstarter.